Now, it's time for the Neighborhood Connection, sponsored by The Wall. Hey, Eric. So on the inside of my house, the plumbing is great. I have no problems. But on the outside of my house, I have an exterior faucet that has a leak. So what's the best way to fix an exterior faucet leak? You know, that's a great question. The first thing is there's a ton of different types of exterior faucets or hose bibs outside. We're going to talk today about one of the most common ones. These are the ones that like to freeze outside that you got to be careful this time of year. So this is your typical exterior hose bib. And what happens is, is it can leak in two different places. You'll see it around here or on the nut. You're going to see it come out, of course, where the hose is. And so either one of those wastes a ton of water, but they can be pretty easy to fix. The first thing though is no matter what you're doing with these, it's hard to work with. This stuff gets all corroded like this one. You can see where it's been leaking. And if you reef on this too hard, this soft copper pipe or whatever else is back there can break. So be careful. Really, what I like to do is start by taking the handle off here first. So we just take that nut loose. Could be a screw, could be a nut, depending on what brand. And then you've got this right here. So you've got the stem and this actually with some pliers and some help comes off. So if it's leaking around that, there's this little seal right here. This can easily be replaced and that goes on. But if you take this off without turning the water off, you're going to get a shower. So always turn the water off to the house or to this faucet before you tear into this stuff. If it's not leaking there and it's leaking out the end of the hose, that's an easy one as well because this comes right out the top. And there's a seal at the end of this. This little rubber washer right here is what stops the water from coming out the hose. There's a seat down here. And what happens is, is over time, this turns into dust basically. And now you've got metal on metal and it's rusting. If it's a replaceable one, like most of the older ones are, you can buy a kit like this for about five bucks at your home improvement store. And they've got the correct size washer in it. You'll take the screw out of here. Be very careful because it's still made out of brass. So it's soft. So get the exact size screwdriver and you're good to go. That will come off, put the new one on, put it back together, then you're good to go. But if it's not repairable, you could buy a brand new one for about 10 or 12 bucks at your home improvement store. And that way you're good too. But no matter what, this stuff is gentle. So you gotta be very careful and it will be corroded. So that's the secret. Couple little washers, and you could put this on here. If it's really old, what you can do is actually put a little bit of the Teflon tape in here and cram that nut over the top. Then you're good. Now you got a faucet that's not gonna leak. Hey Eric, Clara out in um, Cornelius here. And I have a problem with my kitchen sink. I turn it on and the water runs and everything, but you'll see here, it starts to leak. And I mean, it stops once I turn the water off, but it keeps going again. Um, and I'm just not really sure how to go about fixing it. So I'm hoping that you can help me out a little bit with this. I appreciate any help you can offer. Thanks. Thanks, Claire. That is a great question. But the good news is you have a repairable faucet and these things can be repaired time and time again. This one's made by Delta, so you can get a repair kit for just about any hardware store out there. That's the cool thing. And they come apart pretty easy. So let's talk about how this comes apart to fix that leak. So first off, there's gonna be a little cover in here and you're actually gonna take this cover off. Lots of different kinds, could be plastic, could be metal, depending on the age of the faucet. You're gonna take your little tool, which is a little hex tool, and you're gonna take this, remove it, the handle will slide right off. This is where we stop. This is where you gotta go down and make sure the water's turned off. So take both of those hot, cold, turn them all the way off to the right so you know you have the water off. Because when you take this next piece off, you're gonna have Old Faithful in your kitchen. That's never a good thing. It'll take you a while to clean it up. And you'll never get this back in when the water's running. Trust me, I've seen it done. The next thing is, is this crown here takes a little bit to get off. If this hasn't been repaired in 20 or 30 years, it could be completely crusted up. So you're probably gonna have to fight it a little bit but they make a little tool that comes with the kit when you repair this. So this will come off, this crown, and now you're getting into the inner workings of the faucet. You can get that out of the way. This is where their little patented Delta stainless steel or brass ball is. This is what controls that. So when you go to hot, cold, off, a little bit of water, that's the secret. There's also two little seats down inside that you can replace as part of the kit, but that's not your problem today. 
Your problem are the O-rings under here. And let me fight this thing off. This is, you're gonna to have to fight it a little bit. This is one of those things that you have to muscle it around. And it'll, once you get it just perfectly, it will come off. So this sets over the top. These are your offending pieces, these two O-rings that are right here. So you're gonna pop these off and put the new ones in out of your kit. If you've got a little knife or something like that, you can get underneath them. And so you'll just get in, get these loosened up. And actually, if you want to, you can even cut them because you're gonna throw them away. But those are the pieces you need to repair. Once those come off, put the new ones on and you reassemble. These two little seats come out of the inside and springs, I'll show you what those look like. And then you're gonna have a brand new working faucet when it's all said and done. You put your new kit in, reassemble, you're good to go. And that faucet's probably gonna last you another 10 years or until you wanna do that next remodel. And that saves you a couple hundred bucks on a brand new faucet.